I'm the last one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Variety. Thank you for including me in this wonderful afternoon with these amazing and accomplished women. I am so, so happy to be here. But mostly, I am happy to be able to acknowledge and talk about every town for gun safety, and what they do, and continue to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I came to every town because I just couldn't bear it anymore. I couldn't bear hearing about senseless gun violence and needless loss of life. Today is my daughter's birthday. Yeah, she's 14 years old. Um, and yes, and four years ago when she was 10, and I'm an actress, so I can do that math. Yeah, when she was 10, she was out on her winter break um, from school. And I was shooting a movie in Queens, and her dad was working, and her brother was in school, so I thought that I would bring the 10 year old Liv to work with me. It was December 14th, 2012. It was the day of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shootings. So I knew that I wasn't going to be able to keep the news away from Liv forever, but I didn't want her to hear of it while we were on the set. You know, I wanted to tell her we were at home with her father and her brother in a safe place where we could explain it properly. So um, we kept the news off in the van and the TV off in the trailer, and I asked my hair and makeup people not to mention it, and the other actors and crew members were very, very careful not to discuss it in front of her. And then we came home and we started to decorate our Christmas tree together and she picked up her newly acquired phone with her private and carefully monitored Instagram account and said, mommy, did a bunch of little kids get shot today? And, and suddenly, you know, it felt ridiculous to me that I was trying to keep my daughter safe by shielding her from this news. If I really, really wanted to be a responsible parent and a responsible citizen, I needed to help prevent an atrocity like this from ever happening to live or to anyone else ever again. So I couldn't stop thinking about it and eventually I approached every town because they were a group that I long admired for their commitment toward eradicating gun violence in this country. I fervently believe that this is not a partisan issue. This is not an anti-gun, yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is not an anti-gun or a pro-gun argument. It is not a Second Amendment issue and does not deserve to be hotly debated as such. It is a safety issue. A majority of gun owners in the United States, a majority, approve of common sense gun safety measures. Around 90% of them support universal background checks. A large majority of American citizens believe we need to keep the guns out of the hands of dangerous individuals like stalkers and terrorists. Most gun owners responsibly keep guns away from children and store them locked and unloaded in their homes. Most gun owners believe in tighter regulations for gun dealers. A majority of us are on the same side, so why are there huge loopholes in the federal law that allows dangerous individuals to purchase weapons? So this for me is where every town comes in and all of us, because where there has been amazing progress is on the state level. In the District of Columbia and the 18 states that have closed the background check loophole, there are almost half the number of mass shootings, half the number of intimate partner gun homicides, half the number of police gun homicides, and half the number of firearm suicides. Every town has been tirelessly working state by state by state to close the background check loophole because clearly it makes a difference for all of us. It is their work that's making a difference, and I'm very, very happy to be a megaphone for them. A megaphone for the moms, like the astonishing and accomplished Shannon Watts of Moms Demand Action. It's right over there. And the mayors, like Michael Bloomberg, who really has put his money where his mouth is on this issue. And 
the survivors, like my new friend Colin Goddard, a survivor of the Virginia Tech shooting, and everybody at my table, John Feinblatt, Jason Rzepka, Amanda Constam, Sam Rogers, Megan Adamoli, Erica Soto Lamb, Stephanie Gent, thank you to all of you for what you've achieved and what you continue to achieve. I am so happy to be on your side. Um, <laughs> And I'm going to close with a song lyric, too. I can't believe it. <laughs> As Teddy Prendergast sang, the world won't get no better if we just let it be. The world won't get no better. We got to change it. Yeah, just you and me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks.